Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com. You're listening to Cultural, Culture and Social Norms 101. Um, okay, so basically what I'm getting at here is if government really doesn't either exist or does very little, that means sort of the normal ways to sort of the proper ways to act in society are going to be not necessarily enforced through government. And that could be at several different realms as far as who we choose to interact with, how we choose to interact with each other, what kind of business can we form, what are nor- suitable business practices or acceptable business practices. All of this will sort of be up to our individual choices. So some people will do things that you think are bad and some people will do things you think are good. Um, and you can't, you're not using government to force them not to do something or to do something. That's sort of the end goal sort of a, of of libertarians but does that mean that people can just do things that are bad and or not do things that are good no there's going to be other mechanism that's where the role of culture social norms come in and when you don't have you know this this government aspect of it of trying to determine what cultural norms are you have cultural norms that can change faster or stick around longer depending on what society needs and oftentimes, a lot of times, you may disagree or agree with a particular norm or a picture, particular aspect of a culture. And that might be, that, that's generally how change starts. People start disagreeing with the way things have been done, and they start doing things differently. And then over time, other people go, well, actually, the way they're doing it kind of works, so let me do it that way now. And norms change. It oftentimes it takes generations, because the older generation believes that things should be done the way they've always been doing them. And there's a generational shift. The problem is when you have government power, oftentimes it can prevent that change. So what happens is that the new generation says, hey, you know what? We're going to do things a little bit differently. But the older generation, who oftentimes is going to have more political power because they've been around more, they have more wealth, they have more influence, they're going to be like, no, you are not going to change the way things work. So we're going to pass a law. We're going to create a tax. We're going to create a regulation to prevent you from doing things the new way. And there might be moments where the opposite happens, where basically we force a new way from happening. Typically, it's the other way around. And one of my favorite examples is the Defense of Marriage Act, where uh, basically the government passed a law to kind of prevent federal recognition of same-sex marriages. And that took a long time to be repealed relative to when social attitudes changed. So, you know, social, social attitudes can change a lot faster than governments and legislation can because of... If you saw my video on Democracy 101, because of the way sort of democracy works, it it takes time for those mechanisms to change. So then what happens is that society's institutions don't necessarily leave and become created as society's needs change. And this creates societal friction or hostilities or frustrations because things that we need don't become a thing and things that we don't need don't go away. Um, So this is why I generally... I want as much of cultural and social norms to be left up to our voluntary behavior. Does that mean social norms will always be perfect? No. And even if they were ever to hit a moment of perfection, they won't be perfect forever because all the circumstances are constantly changing. But you want people to be free to create those other ways of doing things, those other ways of thinking when they are needed. Now, because everyone always assumes sort of like there's a right way the world has to work. And once I figure that out, I just need the government to kind of make sure that's always the way things work. Whether it's a progressive version of the world or a conservative version of the world, they're thinking, okay, these are the technologies that we need. These are the practices that we need. This is how we need to distribute income or this is the way enterprise needs to work. And once we have those rules in place, the world will just work forever. But no, nothing is forever. The technology is changing, Uh, geography is changing, weather is changing, everything is changing in a way that's going to change the institutions that society needs. The way way we run businesses, the way we interact with each other, all that's going to have to change ever so often. And when you allow government to codify too much and enforce too much, that doesn't change. And then society ends up being finding itself falling behind quicker. Okay, um, so that's the idea. So everyone can think of social norms they think are good and social norms that they think are bad. How do you change them? By just living your life differently and living and, and being the best example of the norms you think should be norms. So that way other people emulate you. By participating and purchasing from institutions that you believe are exemplary of the norms that you want to promote. 
um, and the culture that you want other people to embrace. It's basically in your practice. Your individual actions will help push things in the direction that you want. The problem is other people want to don't believe that their influence is enough or don't care if their influence is enough and want to force it on everybody else. And this is where government gets involved. They want, they're like, you know what? Other people just don't know better. So I need to force it on everybody else. Um, but in a libertarian world, there's no particular set of norms that are sort of, this is a libertarian world. A libertarian world is a world where norms can change and individuals can use their actions, their choices, their wealth, their uh, every aspect of their lives to sit there and help shape what those norms end up being. So, yeah. So libertarians come from across all across the board in regards to sort of social norms, and that's 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 sort of my point. You can have conservative libertarians, you can have progressive libertarians. The difference is they don't want to use force to force those norms. They don't um, norms are allowed to change and, and morph and, and and be fluid. So my name is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com. Have a great day and enjoy.